That is uh, between Brunei and American Samoa. We're getting ready to make another change here. We're going to see a Nielsen Viegas coming off. And Luis uh, Adroir is the player who is coming on. Another one based in the local league with UD Ray Amador. Very, very tight offside call, that one. Abdullahi back to Dennis. He's got that ball stuck under his feet. Picked up by Ajay. Now with Emmanuel Dennis. All the way across to Sadi Kumar. Umar shot. Lacked any power to beat the goalkeeper. Based with the Kaishal Grand Club. Uh, back in the domestic league. The squad is essentially made up of players either playing locally or in Portugal. There are a couple of exceptions. There are a couple of players based down in the English lower leagues, way beyond the professional leagues in England. A couple who we're not seeing today. Gilles Carvalho and uh, also Walter Rocha who were involved in the opening game against uh, Guinea-Bissau. Walter Rocha started that one. Otherwise, uh, a couple of players who ply their trade elsewhere in the likes of Belgium and Finland and Cyprus too. Daniel Dennis to link up with Aussie men, full of running. Watched all the way by Jardel Nazare. <laughs> Qualifying for the AFCON shouldn't be a problem for the Super Eagles. They would have loved to have been heading to the World Cup later this year, but Josip Pizzero will have to just work on building a team that can compete in the Ivory Coast, that can go certainly beyond the last 16, which is where they fell in Cameroon at the beginning of the year. Dennis again. He will be. Ahmed Musa playing it through for Ozzyman. A terrific ball brought down by Ozzyman. And a really cool finish. A fourth goal for him. And a ninth for the Super Eagles. Well, he got four goals in the whole of the World Cup qualifying campaign. He's already on to five in this AFCON qualifying campaign. One against Sierra Leone, four today. This time, no question of the offside flag coming up. He was just about in line. Great ball through by Ahmed Musa. Perfect first touch, and then he steadied himself before lifting it over the goalkeeper. Saltami and Princip would have been hoping that Nigeria just let up as the second half went on. Took the foot off the gas, but it's been quite the opposite. They've kept going. And uh, they are now just one away from double figures. Offside flag up against Luis Leal. Dennis. Well, 
forwards. By Eva Viegas, picked up again now by Balogun. A reminder that uh, a couple of these qualifying groups, 12 of them, have been reduced to three teams. Kenya and Zimbabwe removed from uh, the qualifying process. As Nigeria come once again, the offside flag is up though. Yes, uh, the Harren B stars of Kenya and the Warriors of Zimbabwe who were at the Cup of Nations in Cameroon. As we see that that was another very close call, one that was probably the wrong one. Zimbabwe and Kenya currently banned by FIFA. And that is why they're not involved. That means that uh, Group C, just Cameroon, Burundi and Namibia competing for two places. And uh, in Group K, Morocco, Liberia and South Africa competing for just uh, two places. Ahmed Musa across. Dozi man, it's off the frame of the goal that time. Not finished yet though. Uh, Sadi Kumar couldn't finish. Well, Aussie men very nearly making it 10. And not like him to fail to hit the target from there. to lift it over the goalkeeper. He went for power as well. I have to say credit to Ivan Aldo Viegas, the defender, for helping put off Sadi Kumar as the substitute tried to tuck away the follow-up. Dennis. Abdullahi making the run outside him. Abdullahi here. Ball into the middle and Ozzyman misses again. Oh, goodness me. With some better finishing, with some slightly more favourable offside calls. I think Ozzyman could have had uh, 10 himself today. July. And Dennis a bit too casual. We're in the 90th minute now. The referee may uh, blow the whistle pretty quickly and uh, end the agony for Sao Tome in Principe. Good start anyway for Josep Pizero in competitive action with Nigeria. This man who is vastly experienced. He's worked at some big clubs as well. The likes of Sporting back in his homeland in Portugal, also Al Ahly, of course, of Cairo. The, uh, attempt on goal, I think we can call it that. But Mauro Santos doesn't come to anything. It's going to be a goal kick. And uh, small mercy for Sao Tome and Principe as we head into two added minutes at the end of the game. Could have been significantly more than that, given the number of substitutions, given the cooling break as well. Gives them a chance of avoiding the humiliation of letting in a tenth goal. And 
last qualifying campaign there were no uh, heavy defeats Sixteen goals let in in six matches in total then. They did concede four a couple of times in defeats against Sudan and Ghana. You may feel that they've gone backwards, but really in reality they've just come up against a very strong Nigerian team who have been hungry to score goals today. They might have the chance to get the ten. Dennis may be goes down and the referee thinks about it and points to the penalty spot it will be a spot kick in the final minute of stoppage time the chance for Nigeria to get into double figures well Dennis seemed to go down in installments but he was caught there by Jardel Nazare the defender the referee got a very good look at it and uh, surely it will be Victor Ozimhen to step up no it's going to be Dennis Aussie man leaves it for the man who won the penalty and who fancies getting in on the act himself here today in Agadir <laughs> utterly dominant from beginning to end Nigeria to wrap up the victory today, Emmanuel Dennis tucks home the spot kick right at the end of injury time. They have been utterly rampant, the Super Eagles. Victor Ozzyman may have been the star of the show. But all his fellow attackers have joined in. And Dennis has had a very decent season. Premier League in England, all beat with a struggling side. Rounds out the scoring. Bigger tests await for Nigeria moving forward, but they certainly seem to be heading towards a place at uh, next year's AFCON in the Ivory Coast with something to spare. Agonising for Saltome and Princip who have been completely outclassed today by Nigeria. The island nation of a little over 200,000 people, just unable to compete with a country of more than 200 million. Victor Ozimhen, one of the best strikers in Serie A in Italy, with four goals to show for his efforts, a couple of assists as well. A brace to Baterin Mofi. And uh, Emmanuel Dennis rounding out the victory. Moses Simon, Mugini Karaway Tebo, and Adimola Lukman all scoring two for Jose Pizero's team. The final score here in Agadir today Saltome and Princip nil, Nigeria 10. Well, just not much that uh, Saltome and Principe.